Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Lemmy Development and welcome to our weekly tutorial. And this week I'll be showing you how to create alert views with action buttons. Now in the simulator here, I have an example of what we'll be creating today. A simple round red button, once hit, loads up our UI alert view and has a few buttons with actions. Now these buttons simply link to URLs which I'll show you when I complete the project. So already in my project setup is a simple view based application for the iPhone and I've simply named it alert with action just for the purpose of this tutorial. And if you haven't noticed already I'm using the new Xcode 4.2 relatively easy to understand so the first thing we need to do is add our IB action for our round rug button to display the alert and to do that we go to our view controller .h. So just after the UI view controller simply put in a curly bracket and hit enter. So here we've got the brackets in ourselves. Now I'll zoom in for you so you can see. So we need to start by typing dash bracket IB action bracket and I'll simply name it alert and then it with a semicolon and we can save that and now zoom it then we need to add the code for our alert view so if you go into our view controller.m and just after the implementation hit enter a few times so we have a bit of room to space it all out and I'll zoom in now for you so we start by typing our action button which we named it alert so we do dash bracket ib action alert space curly bracket and hit enter now we need to add in our alert view so we do ui alert view space asterisk and we'll name it alert space equals space bracket bracket ui alert view again space alloc and end that with a bracket there now we do space in this with title message delegate and cancel button so do a step by step now so in it with title in the ns string here we simply do at quotation mark quotation mark and this is the title of our alert view so i'll just type in the title to make it a bit more easy to understand i'll space it out for you so if you want to pause the video now and catch up on what i'm doing here if you want to set it out the same way i am so it's just a little bit easier to understand. So in the message here, in the end string of the message will be where the message is displayed. So we do at symbol, quotation mark, quotation mark. And I'll simply type in the message. Then in our delegate, we need to put self. And in cancel button title will be the name of the button title when we cancel it. So we do at symbol, quotation mark, quotation mark. And I simply name it cancel so fairly easy to understand and then other button titles is where we start to add our other button titles and depending on how many I add here is is how many extra buttons will be displayed in our alert view so to add the first one we do at symbol quotation mark quotation mark and I'll simply name it button one and if you want to copy it all up to the all the way from the comma to the at symbol and paste it Two times as well I'm going to create three buttons you can create as many as you want and name them different titles so so it's easy to understand and then after the nil we do bracket and a semicolon then hit enter and we need to show the alert so we do alert space show and a bracket and a semicolon now previously you need to release it but this new X code you don't need to release it and now we do that, we need to add the code for each of the buttons to give it an action. So to do that, we do dash bracket void bracket alert view. Make sure there's a capital on the V colon bracket UI alert view space asterisk bracket alert view again with a capital on the V space click the button at index 
and we do space, curly bracket and enter. Now we need to do an if statement for if the button one is clicked and then it will perform a certain action. So in the condition here, we do button index equals equals space one. So if button one is hit, in this statement here, we add our URL, which will be bracket bracket UI application space shared application bracket space open URL in the NSURL we do bracket NSURL space URL with string and this is where we add our URL. So you do at symbol quotation mark quotation mark. Now I'll do a simple URL now so just quickly type it out for you. We do our Geek Lemon website. So after that there, we close it with a bracket and a semicolon. Make that two brackets, sorry. Now once you've done that, just to save a little bit of time, if we copy the code there, and then paste it two more times, so we have three all together, then change the second to two and the third to three. And I'll just change the URL here. So the second one will be our YouTube page, and our third one could be our Facebook fan page. So there we have it then. Now the reason I'm showing you URLs is a quick demonstration of what you could do. You could simply add sounds, or maybe switching views, or playing a video, or anything like that. Any action could be added. This is just a quick demonstration of what you could do. So if you want to pause the video now and catch up any of that coding, but now I'll save that and zoom out. So now, go into our viewcontroller.xib, where we'll add our round rec button, and then click on files owner, and then link up the alert action to our button, and then do something simple like touch down, and then save that, and then go to build and run. So once the simulator loads up now, we hit the round red button. Our alert is displayed with our title, the title, and the message, the message, which we chose it in our viewcontroller.m. Has our three buttons and our cancel button. We can choose to cancel it or bring up the alert again. So if we hit button one, it loads up our Geek Lemon URL. So depending on how quick your internet connection is, depends on how quick it will load up in the simulator. We're almost there, so there we go. If we go back, back into our application, and this time our second one, which is our YouTube page. And there we have it. So in the third one, I'll quickly show you our Facebook fan page, just to show you that they all work perfectly fine. So that's simply how you add action buttons to alert views. I hope this helps in any of your apps or projects at the moment. If you haven't, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next week in our next tutorial. Make sure you favorite and like the video so you have it for future reference. Also check out the full source code for this tutorial and all our others on our website at geekelement.com. Send us a message or leave us a comment if you want to suggest any tutorials yourself or if you just want to leave us some feedback and follow and like us on Facebook and Twitter. All the links will be in the description below as well as a full list of all our apps which are currently on the App Store. Make sure you go check them out and most importantly if you haven't make sure you subscribe.